This is the largest wildfire in California history. With more people moving to fire-prone areas and climate change making landscapes warmer and drier, blazes like this one are becoming more frequent and destructive. That means firefighters will have to work harder than ever to put them out and protect lives and property. But how exactly do they do that? Contrary to what some people might think, it's not just about spraying them with water that would otherwise be diverted to the Pacific. There's a lot of ways to fight a wildfire, but they generally fall into two categories, direct attack and indirect attack. The first 24 hours of a wildfire are critical and require direct attack. That can mean firefighters on the ground smothering the flames with water, digging a fire line, or even calling in air support with water. Elite firefighting teams of 20 or so people known as hot shots will often hike in to battle these flames. And if they're really remote, smoke jumpers will parachute in to the location of the fires. Most of these firefighting efforts are decidedly low tech. We're talking about tools like an axe hoe hybrid called a Pulaski used to dig a fire line and chop up any down wood that's in the way. Chainsaws are about as fancy as it gets. But if the fire continues to spread despite these efforts, an indirect attack becomes necessary. This means firefighters will dig longer fire lines that act like a container. They might also fight the wildfire by setting their own fire. The idea is that burning vegetation in the wildfire's path in a controlled manner is safer than letting an inferno rage. You've probably seen dramatic footage of planes dropping red flame retardant. That's another way to cut flames off from the fuel they need to keep going. And firefighters on the ground may also spray water or foam on structures to keep flames from engulfing them. Fighting constant fires is a massive team effort. Fire camps are staffed by logistical experts who ensure firefighters have all the tools they need. Meteorologists keep an eye on the weather to help identify any changes that could affect fire behavior. And technology is starting to play a bigger role in assisting firefighters. Drones help determine where fire lines should be built. Infrared cameras can identify hot spots for more accurate cleanup. And new weather satellites can even track lightning to predict where fires are most likely to occur, making it easier for firefighters to respond in time. Fire season is stretching longer and running hotter. Warmer nights in particular mean fires don't always simmer down like they used to. Firefighters are going to need all the tools at their disposal to fight the blazes of the future.